All right, what's going on, you fam? What are you doing here? So the third day of the Legends Battle Royale Extreme. Uh, each time we do this, we may as well spice up the team that we're going to be using. So we're going to be using uh, Hera Clan for this one. They're another sort of set of extreme units that uh, synergize pretty damn well together. So it's nice to put them in a singular team. Um, I do apologize if I sound a little bit off. I seems I got sick between the Vegeta showcase and now. I'm not sure if I caught a cold or something, but not feeling too well, so I'm gonna sound a little bit odd. Now, in terms of my team here, as I said, Hera Clan, uh, we have Robbery there as the leader for this team, because I said before that um, he's probably one of the most, if not the most valuable extreme for this mode. He's the only one with endurance, and none of these extreme units really have any sort of anti-endurance, so having just this guy be there to tank the damage is really really good tank the rush i feel like now more than ever rising rush is such a game determining uh mechanic that it would be good to have somebody at least control it um but in terms of the other members we know for a fact that we're going to be going with gokua because he stands as one of the best but uh whether we use bujin Bido, or Zangia, it really depends on our opponent's matchup, but I think for the most part with these matches, we went with uh, Bido and Bujin because one of them has lock-in, the other one is a really good support. Uh, you know, being able to draw a card from their green card is really helpful too. Paralysis is nice as well. Um, but yeah, that pretty much wraps up the entire team. So let's go ahead and jump in for some matches. All right, here we go. Match one. As you saw over there, Robbery with the Bardock Squad. That's pretty cool. Nice little fun team idea. Just as I said not too long ago, Robbery is arguably one of the most valuable units for this entire event. So no surprise at all that we see him being thrown on the leader slot for any sort of manner of team. But it's definitely cool seeing somebody use the Bardock Squad. I, I like this team. I think it's cool whenever they do something like this. It's like you keep the keep the home brace together keep the keep the family together kind of thing here now just going into the match uh i know that bujin or, or Bido, dude honestly i don't remember off the top of my head i'm like my brain is pretty much melted ice cream at this point but i know that this guy uh has a mean ability lock-in so i realized that you know with my rush at hand the most important thing is to try to get one of these guys locked in with him and nail him with the rush a lot of these mechanics are really amplified in this mode, lock in, um, you know, the ability to draw a card, key recovery. See, this is the perfect instance for it. A stop time event from that green card that I got was perfect for dealing with Toro, but it's almost like they become far more valuable because extreme units are just so deprived of any sort of these unique mechanics. So I was a little bit worried. I wasn't sure if he would do enough damage because Goku was on the uh, part of our battle members. So we don't end up killing Tora. Uh, which was a bit of an issue, so I was hoping that maybe I could get him with a sidestep or something here, but nonetheless, I still have my main ability lock in, and although we can lock somebody in, we don't really have uh, an ultimate or something to just decimate somebody immediately. Uh, I don't know. This is why I like this whole LBR mode, just because it feels like the stakes aren't as high. You can have a little bit more fun here. With the green card, I know that we inflict paralysis, so I figured, you know, Legends didn't want to give me that blast card. I'm going to go ahead and try to get the guy with some paralysis here. He has a tendency of waiting for the second one, too, and he's still locked in. Goku is transformed. I can get the 50 key plus the blue card, a really valuable thing, and pow, there you go. That little combo on this, in this uh, little tournament mode thing, you and Bobber, is pretty damn valuable. And at this point, I was feeling really confident with where we are. Robbery is still tanky, it's still someone we gotta deal with, but we have a robbery as well. Uh, we got someone with type advantage, and Tora, even though he would have type advantage over Goku, he's basically, you know, half foot into the coffin, so it's okay. Got robbery with the green card, I know he's hit with some paralysis, so I'm just watching, watching him cautiously from here. And although he got that infamous PV, looks like RNG blessed us this time, and I think he forfeits. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he forfeits at this point. I don't blame him, really. No one really wants to deal with paralysis. Match two. This, I'm not surprised. I see a lot of your comments and a lot of you are talking about how this is a really good combo. Gajirobi with Goku. 
and some unit that buffs up the uh, blue and yellow characters just because, you know, he has your OB with the max AP and the leader slot stuff, he benefits from it tremendously, which is true. But for me, I think we have the team that can handle something like this. I mean, Robbery will deal with his Broly and Yajirobe, we do have tanky enough units to deal with them. And Goku, we have a green unit, so, so all is good. Got my main, not going to use it yet. I don't have any sort of way of rushing anybody, so I'm just going to patiently wait. Get a nice little PV there, go with the Blast, Goku, transform, key, and four cards. I'm telling you. All these mechanics in this EX only mode are just so damn valuable because they're basically non-existent. So being able to do anything that you'd see a normal sparking do is epic. I'm just going to wait this one out here, see what he's doing. He doesn't really have... I know Yashirobi doesn't have an attack that will hit me from range. was hoping my blue card would kill him, but not so lucky. Uh, and I'm just trying to play this one out. I'm two Dragon Balls away from the rush, but thankfully I have both of those in my hand. It's just a matter of catching this guy off guard. Um, and him going to Goku is perfect for me. Because if Vito is to catch him here, it's perfect. So pop the main, lock him in. Gonna wait for two side steps, and we catch him there. And at this point, I knew we're good. Just gonna go ahead and try to hit him with the rush. Not going to use the green card for this because uh, I don't think I used one all match. It would have been a little bit too obvious, and I think that's what he ends up using as his card. Yeah, see. Even if my brain is melted ice cream right now, there's still enough spark in there for us to put a cohesive thought together. So we big brain that rush right there. But either way, at this point, I knew we, we were pretty good. I mean, one of his units is that type disadvantage against robbery. He has no way of killing endurance. Yajirobe is halfway out the door. I knew that at this point. We're, we're pretty good. So I know, I'm pretty sure he goes for a rush here. And I don't blame him. It actually is a really smart idea because... There's no way for him to get through my endurance from regular combos, so you may as well combo, or sorry, use a rush to get rid of it, but we guess him because those the sparks in the melted ice cream is still working out pretty good. I just become super aggressive because when you're at this advantage, no breathing room, just attack. All right away. Broly, you have to deal with robbery, and believe it or not, the legendary Super Saiyan falls before a guy that is named after a fruit. So we're all good to go. Got another PV on the poor dude, and I think he forfeits, yeah. Blue card would have finished him. And then the final one. I thought this was cool. Future Gohan paired alongside that Red 17. Two very strong EX Zenkais with the Azurobi as a leader. I knew that this one was going to be uh, the most intimidating match, and I had to be careful. Future Gohan's decently tanky. Uh, in regular PvP, probably not. But in, you know... LBR certainly is. We don't have any characters that can deal with that kind of thing. Uh, but I wasn't too worried. You know, Goku and all the extra buffs that he has against Hybrid Saiyans, I could leverage that. Just go ahead and go to Biceps Boy over here. I know, regardless of who he switches to, we'll have advantage. I'll be okay. Pop the main. I'm pretty sure it's a support buff when I pop this main for the team. No, it's just for himself. Makes sense. And then we got two green cards. I know that when I hit him with a green card, I draw a card. So we draw. I'm pretty sure it's always blast cards or any random card. I figured I'm just going to go ahead and throw these down. There's no, no point in having them in my hands. And 17 is already super weak. We're almost at a rush. It's all good. Now he's done that twice where he automatically sidesteps after um, causing me to vanish. So I knew that I could pay attention to that. Bokua shining again. Four cards with the key basically means that I was pretty much guaranteed the rush, and look at this. He came in on cover cut, type disadvantage, but Goku is still strong enough to not really care, so I go through my whole combo, go for the rush. And I'm pretty sure he switches to Yajirobe, believe it or not, which is kind of funny to me, considering you would normally think the other guy should tank. Go for the blast, because I think blue would be too obvious, and regardless, Yajirobe took a ton of damage, but yeah, look at that. The brain. The melted brain pulls through. Death to Yashirobi. And he hasn't really comboed me much. I don't really think he has uh, many Dragon Balls in order to get us here. A little bit of lag, but we go to Robbery immediately afterwards. And I, I couldn't remember if he disconnected or not. I think he did. I don't remember off the top of my head. But 
I could have sworn before in LDR mode if it, a disconnect like this happened, it would end the match. I don't know. But so far, my experience with this LDR mode hasn't been too bad. And unfortunately, some of you guys have been sharing how horrendous it's been. Super laggy, drops, uh, inputs, all this other fun stuff that we all know a little bit too well. But for me, it hasn't been too bad. I've been showing all of them to you guys, so you can see it uh, full screen. Goku, I could give a crap out of the future Gohan, but nonetheless, so far, we are still uh, still in the game. Flawless. All is good in the hood. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Hopefully it helps you guys out with this little mode. Um, I think you only need a, like about half wins in order to get all the CC you need. So uh, don't fret too much if you lose one or two. It's okay. But until next time, guys, take care of yourselves. Peace.